Hello everybody and welcome to the Sovereign Village Project. You may have heard that they finally stopped the blockade on the Suez Canal and released that ship and uh, a lot of folks are saying, oh good, global trade is going to continue again. But I think those of us who are very aware of what's going on right now know that that's just one tiny little piece of the puzzle that's occurring and that really the inflation and the collapse of this global economy, the controlled implosion of our food supply and our economy and probably the US dollar eventually, it seems to be inevitable and it seems that we're just driving towards it at a pretty breakneck increasing pace even if there are little lulls in between it seems like we're set for that and so I want to encourage everybody to think about how will their income stream fare and how will their family do and will they be able to maintain their homestead in good times or bad and I think the answer to that the answer to that puzzle to be prepared for all of that is a diverse income an income that you control where if they are mandating some kind of tyranny at the state level and you can't act, you can't go to work anymore such as I experienced here in Nashville, I couldn't play a lot of bars because they required the mask and I will not wear the mask and so I just had to give up that income and, and those uh, business relationships that I'd worked so hard to achieve. I had to give them up but I was okay because I had other income streams ready to go. I had a lot of people that I play music with um, and I had a lot of people in other states who play more rural venues that don't comply with the tyranny or didn't weren't subject to it. So I had a, a pretty diverse income stream there, and I think that's what we all need to be doing, is diversifying our income streams and attaining sovereignty in our income streams. We need to be, have control over our living. It's time to not have a boss anymore. I'm not saying quit your job today, but I am saying quit your job next year. Unless you're with an employer whose values represent yours, it's time to get out, and it's time to lay the groundwork for diversity. But even if you do, it's time to have a diverse stream of income. I really like the micro-income streams idea. I think it fits what a diverse homestead can produce. Your homestead is gonna produce surpluses of some things if you're running it right. And we use that on our homestead to diversify our incomes and remove ourselves from employment and dependence on employment. And so some of our incomes, I'll just give you some of mine in case you'll jog some ideas. Of course, I have my music shows, and a lot of that's cash income, which is good because any time that I can avoid paying taxes, well, actually all of the time, <laughs> I do. I don't pay taxes to uh, an Ill illegitimate government. So I like that it's cash. Um, I teach music lessons, and even in the middle of the uh, the uh, pandemic propaganda, my lessons still continued. I lost some, but a lot of them continued because parents really prioritize education for their children. Um, I also sell self-sufficiency products, a lot of things like rainwater collection barrels. Um, I sell things off of my farm, whatever surplus I have, if I have a lot of tomatoes. Um, I'm going to start stepping more into perennials and cuttings and things like that, uh, longer term stuff. Focus really on the permaculture type plants that people like in that world because that's uh, exploding so fast. So whatever your homestead is producing, maybe that's timber, maybe you have a sawmill. Um, your income can also be your gear. If you have to have a tractor for what you do, then you might as well also rent out that tractor. If you, have, if you buy a car, you should find a way to derive some income from your car. Turning your liabilities into asset is a great way, assets is a great way to get income streams. Um, hip camp, Airbnb, rentals, in, um, unconventional rentals of uh, cabins and things like that on your land. Uh, that kind of passive income is great, great income streams that can weather just about anything if they're set up properly. Um, I also just have a lot of good relationships with farmers in my area, so when they have harvests or crises, they'll call me if they just need some, just an extra little bit of labor on the farm. Um, I don't consider any kind of blue-collar labor beneath me, and, and I'll, I'll go help for free or for money and build relationships with the local farms, and that's been really good. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? We, we do a little bit of, uh, Gabby does a little bit of baking, my fiance, and we, we bake different goods. Um, I do a little bit of, distil of distilling, which is technically illegal, but I, I, don't, I don't break the law. Um, in secret. I break it openly. If I'm going to break the law, I'm not a criminal. I'm going to say this law is unconstitutional, it's wrong, and it's actually the law that's illegal. And so I do those things openly. So I derive a little bit of income from um, distilling alcohol. Um, well, those are just a few of my income streams. I, I do homestead design as well, permaculture homestead design, where I design homesteads for self sufficiency and sustainability and resiliency. And so these are all different things that I love to do. They're different passions of mine, but they can all be monetized. And that's how we all need to be building our new sovereignty in our income. And it's so freeing. To not have a boss is, is really incredible. I'm lucky to have come from the music space because I was already prepared to, first of all, I'm used to being poor, but also I, I'm, I've not had a boss for a long time. And it's freeing when you just can walk away from a job. You don't have to wear a compliance device. You're not going to have to stick a shot you don't believe in into your body. You're not going to have to comply with this stuff if you don't depend on it. So let's get out there and start building sovereignty in our incomes. I would love to, you know I love to do this, but I'd love to hear brainstorming in the comments. If you have ideas uh, or things that have worked for you or things that you're trying to bring income, let's share this knowledge and these ideas. And let's come up with ways that we can really all become independent 
and be our own bosses and produce some real income from resilient, diverse streams. Everybody in the meantime, stay safe, be well, and happy homesteading.